Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today with the final review here of Rael's Havana Cafe or Corner Cafe. That's a stole mock from Brickative. We have two links in the description. One goes to Brickative, one goes to my seller where you can order this. This is at the moment $140. I know that's not cheap, but uh, most of it are the shipping costs. Uh, cost $140 is of course including shipping costs. We have 3158 pieces here. It comes with six, six minifigs. I can't show you because in my version uh, the staff of my seller uh, removed the minifigs. He don't know why but they removed it. So I have only the hair pieces. And it comes with eight light bricks. These are actually round bricks with LED in it. My, they forgot to remove here the battery. Normally the airlines don't want batteries or accus in their uh, in their planes. So when you order is when you order it from your world of building blocks, you will get the minifigs and the light bricks, but without batteries. But it's only a button battery, so you have to buy eight button batteries. They are easy to open. So overall. The instructions are okay. The colors not always match the real color, but you get used to it. The quality uh, is great. It's GoBricks pieces, so no problems at all to assemble this here. The quality is really great. The Transclear pieces uh, are not milky, but the doors, the bigger ones, sometimes have small scratches. Okay. But that's normal with the, the Chinese bricks. Okay, two links in the description. I told you one to order the set and the other you can buy the original uh, instructions from Brickative because this is a stolen Brickative mod mock. Okay, so you've seen the close up from outside in the beginning of the video and the instructions. So now we go into close up and look what's inside of each. Uh, of each floor. Okay? Your first floor, ground floor. I like this here with all the arches and the bows. That's nice. And this looks really like some houses in Havana. I've watched a lot of TV series and movies that are playing in Havana and you really find houses there. This here is a sticker. Normally here you get stickers, like this coffee shop, this is four times, and from the instructions you should four times use the same sticker for these. But I will remove this perhaps and make a, a normal street lantern. Then we have some piece of art there, I don't know is it painted or are it tiles or is it a carpet? We don't know, but it looks really, really, really cool. I like this here. It looks nice. Now we have something that is unique for all the brickative houses. You can easily remove some of the walls, so you can get easy access to play or to show your modular, to play with your modular, to show it to your friends. First room are the is the staircase, second room is a small kitchen for the cafe. Just put it in again and it's the same as here. Here we have the small cafe room inside, the bar and here staircase and two seats. Here is one mistake. You see this? This part is longer from the wall than this here. And just one, one piece. So you go... Uh, it's one piece too much. So remove the two, two by two and use a plate or something. And then, because the, the whole bar 
is attached to the wall and not to the ground. But it looks really, you see this? It's exactly one blade or one tile. So, easy to get this done here. Okay, we go to the next floor. So, next floor. Here we have, this is, this door has really more scratches than the others. We can remove the wall here, two places, the counter, then the staircase came and goes around here, around these cupboards, goes around here. They like the, these uh, score, screw, I don't know the, the real name, you know the screw staircases. Ah, inside we have a little kitchen here. This is managed with stickers, TransClear stickers, and here. And man, I love this feature. That's so cool. Lego, you should do this. It's so cool. And again here. You can easily remove and look inside. There's a small bathroom here. And there you see the trans pink or trans, I don't know, trans purple bricks. We have five, five more places to sit and a lot of really colorful bricks. <laughs> I love this sign because it's cafe from this side and it's cafe from that side. And if you don't like the pink or the, the piggy pink, then just buy some tiles and tile it in another color. This here looks very cool. This here I like too. It's a nice detail. Ah, last floor. Here the last floor. You can easily detach this part of the roof. And then you can detach the wall. We have a small living room here. Here comes, here's the staircase, a spiral, a spiral stair? Is it a spiral stair? A spiral stair, okay. And the TV, it's a cool old one, because I believe in Havana, they mostly don't have new uh, televisions. Perhaps you see some of these old television. That's one a part of the couch and the other part is here on the wall. Another sticker. And here is a small... Uh, small bathroom in it. I don't know if you see something. So I hope you don't get motion sick with my hand camera here. So this looks here a little bit uh, scary. The minifigs, torsos, on <laughs> as t-shirts and some sheets. But it's a nice idea. So, my final opinion here, I really like the building. I really, really, really like the building. I think it looks very cool and unique. We haven't something from... It's really unique. You don't find a building like this here, at least to buy in a set. There are cool, some cool mocks from Brixy Brick and another cool guys, but so you can buy it, this is really unique. If you don't have a problem with the color, or you like me that says, okay, that's a Havana cafe, and then it should look like it is in Havana, then great, this is a great building. You get a lot of fun, you get a cool and unique look, you got a lot of cool building techniques, you're getting eight not so bright, but okay, light bricks, they are bright enough because this here is a lot of light. Here are 3000 lumen, so this can't shine here, okay? And you get the minifigs. So I don't have the minifigs. That's one minus for me, but you will get them. But I can't show them to you. But uh, we hope the Royal minifigs are okay. That they are okay. Okay, so I hope I could help you with a decision. 
if you were not sure, should I buy this or not? How is the quality? Quality wise, no problem. The bricks are good, the instructions are okay, so you will not have a quality problem. If you have a color problem, mm, okay, that's not your building. If you like the colors, oh, there's a fly, then just buy it. It's really, really cool. I know $140 is not cheap, but you're getting over 3,000 pieces. And okay, it's 160 if you buy the original instructions, so you nearly going to Lego. But the quality here is equal to Lego. The quality is really, really, really good from GoBricks. And if you can wait half a year, when uh, the normal passenger machines are flying again, then the costs of this house are going significant, significantly down. Because from the 140 dollars you are buying, uh, you you pay for this, 70 dollars are shipping costs. So if the shipping costs are normal, then they are 30, and you can buy this for 100, 110 dollars. Yes. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm Frank from the Brick Freaks. If you have a question, just write me in the comments. Okay. Bye-bye.